Hermes Imperia, Hermes. What is up you guys, it is your boy here, Unknown, with this video, and today I do have an unboxing, and this is on the Ultra Mini Wireless Keyboard, I had seen this on eBay as I needed a keyboard, wireless keyboard, a mouse for my Raspberry Pi 4, as you guys can see in the background, right there, and um, yeah guys, so... I needed one and the ones I saw on eBay were not sorry not on eBay on Amazon were like the weird ones which look like a gamepad controller and I'm not really digging that and it's not really in convenient style for me and so that's why I had to go with this one and um, after ordering on eBay from China I did find out it was on Amazon for like I think one pound cheaper but Hey, I ordered it, I couldn't really cancel it. So, I received it, and I'm actually gonna unbox it. So, as you guys can see, I do have it look, cut here because I don't wanna have the hassle and time to actually, you know, waste your guys' time opening the bag. So, here it is. And, um, yeah. So, it came in this, you know, standard little shipping bag. And it's quite well packed, if you ask me. Just this paper not paper sorry this foam and right here we do have the box itself so focusing on the box you guys can see it says ultra mini keyboard a standard font um it looks like something from photoshop with photoshop or word actually that's a very default font but yeah on the front it's just got the keyboard picture very low res the text just says what supported <laughs> Um, Windows Vista, I believe, is that? Yeah, Windows XP, actually. And then the old Mac logo. Uh, that's Windows Vista, Windows 7. And it just talks about how it is. So, let's read this Chinese English. Oh, and focus. Thank you. Meet the golden section of the mini size. Enjoy the full size keyboard. The main function, enter the instant message, messaging, URL and search text without leaving your sofa or seating. How lovely. Uh, okay, that's enough talking. Let's just get into the box and see what's actually inside here. So, oh, opening it up. The thing I like about this one is it doesn't really have any branding whatsoever. The one I saw on Amazon was the Rai keyboard. It's usually just rebranded, um, if you ask me. It's just renamed with their own branding. They just usually get it for cheaper. Let's say they get it for like, I don't know, three pounds per piece. And they buy it in bulk. And what happens is that then they just take it into their own designing manufacturing area. And they slap their brand on it, and uh, boom, they sell it for double the triple the price. So if it was three pounds, they'll sell it for around like twelve pounds, thirteen pounds, and that's how its money's made. But I specifically wanted one which didn't have any branding, so here it is. Oh, there we go. It comes with a bit of documentation that um, we won't be needing to re read, hopefully. But yeah, it's in English and Spanish. But who cares about that? Let's get to the main piece itself. So here it is. I mean, first impressions, the plastic, it feels plasticky. It's not a light, not heavy. It's a good, It's got a good weight. And the plastic, I'm, I'm liking the plastic. The plastic feels quite matte. And it does feel like a quality product. Even though it's quite thin, but there is no creak in the plastic there's no loose ends in it and if i was gonna feel all the keys they are all responsive and there's none there is no dead keys i can feel right now there's page up down there's got this mini trackpad i mean although the trackpad's quite rough and this is the only thing i wouldn't like but i think be, being able to type like this and then being able to easily go here 
would be way better than the gamepad style where you don't <laughs> uh, type here and then you have to put your thumb up here and then scroll around it's quite hard for me so I just tend to like like this one and plus this will fit in your bag really nicely rather than the flat game style one uh, it does charge over a very obsolete cable a micro so mini USB port uh, oh, focus here camera yeah why is I don't know why autofocus is not working right there we go so it does have a mini USB uh, and um, I'm just gonna carry on going around so I don't really uh, focus on that uh, there is a switch there is a side for the dongle and it come it just puts in here and that's the mini receiver right there uh, it goes just back in here I mean this receiver is quite similar to the one I have right here for my 802.11 mini Wi-Fi card if I'm not gonna lie quite similar with the form factor and size and shape uh, now looking at it, it's not that but um, it quite similar <laughs> it's quite similar so I'm just gonna put that back in there oh wrong way and did we get it stuck no we didn't great there we go clicks back in there quite nicely uh, there we go I'm still learning these autofocuses so please do bear that in mind and let's quickly give it a switch on the thing that I did see is that it does have a laser feature so I want to really quickly try that and if that does actually work so ah uh, it's not laser there is no laser um maybe we will need to read the quick manual charging RF backlight switch oh so that's a black light switch black or oh, backlight switch um trying to see where we can actually turn on the laser pointer charge the device usb does not respond does not charge um uh, not only wireless mode gaming keys which does not sound right if you ask me but um i don't know why my it's my mic okay oh i can hear clicking so uh, please do um <laughs> i'm sorry for that if there is any weird interference but i do not see how i activate the laser so for now we are just gonna forget about it and find out at the end so i'm just gonna click a bunch of buttons and see if it does activate the laser because that's what i want to see in action oh yeah i didn't buy this for just for the laser by the way guys if you're wondering um putting this right into my eye is quite bad well maybe they meant tv ir sensor i'm not too quite sure but hey it is a us style like keyboard but let's go ahead and test it out on my phone maybe okay let's just maybe try it on there so i've literally grabbed my phone going to go ahead and unlock it and i'm just gonna go ahead and open up a text editor notepad more like samsung notes come on uh, open up a page and we are just going to leave it like that uh, i'm just going to prop it up on my pi this is great guys uh let's just put it on the stand that conveniently have and prop it up a bit put the iso down Oh, why are you not working, mate? Alright, so I hope you guys can see through that. Um, sorry for my hand blocking it. Come on, move away hand. Go ahead and plug... Oh, come on. 
phone locked again. Uh, I'm just gonna plug in an OTG adapter just to so we can connect the dongle. Oh, by the way, you guys, I think this is not Bluetooth. Uh, yeah, it's not Bluetooth. So yeah, that's an issue. But I don't really like Bluetooth anyway because it's just not. <laughs> I don't prefer it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in, just like that, and focus. If we zoom in, if that's the only thing in frame. There we go, maybe. Oh, maybe just, uh, oh, I um, need to blow that out. Great. Oh, why am I not always? All right, more work for me. But okay, you guys can hopefully see that. And I do have my keyboard here, and let's see if it works. Oh, it does. The camera's not on focus. So I'm just gonna type like, just gonna go back. Hi, guys, this is um, no unknown. And as you guys can see, it's quite responsive. Uh, just spamming one key, I don't know why. Bunch of keys, and yeah. The D pad like thing works. The oh, pointer. Oh, even the trackpad. It's, it's not great. <laughs> I mean, quite small space. But it does work. I mean, I'm quite, quite liking that. Oh, yeah, I can even drag. Wow. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys just like. Oh, I just saw the laser go off. Right, guys, after some digging, I did find out where the laser is. It's a button right down here. I didn't see. But let's see how powerful. Oh, I mean, it's a standard laser pointer. I'm just gonna point up the wall. Come on, get in the camera. Maybe down. Alright, there we go. I've got it in camera. I mean, it looks quite. There we go. It's quite fine point. Uh, works for interviews. But yeah, it's a quite nice mini product, and I do recommend it to you guys. Even though it's a quite an old product, uh, it does have a backlight feature, which is quite nice right in the dark i mean there is a lot of bleeding just on the keyboard i mean right at the space bar but other than that the keys are illuminated it's a quite nice package so yeah guys i hope you did enjoy my video please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel and as always this is unknown signing out peace and take care Bye bye